Hello, it's Sarah. I have a project share. I um, wanted to do a little composition book that Lynn had shared on her YouTube channel for uh, the little mini composition books. Um, so I got to work yesterday and just showing you these for now because I want to gonna show you in a minute. Um, <laughs> do the reveal. But these, this little gnome here is a little Wade figurine, and Wade is a company that, if you guys ever drank Red Rose tea, they used to put these in the um, the box of tea bags that you got. And my mom's from England, um, and Wade is made in England, so I collected Wade for a couple years. So I had this little gnome in my collection, and just decided to put him on this little door. So it's a Wade. You guys added your comments that probably, I think I put this here because it was tilted and I wanted to see, oh, and anyway. But you were right, putting a little weight on the front works perfect. So he's a little gnome. It looks like he's kinda um, whittling. He's working on a little boat or something. And he's just sitting outside his door. So that was cute, I was happy about that. And then this is a little, angel type fairy that I made years ago when I first started polymer clay playing with clay maybe not years yeah probably years now um, so I think I'm gonna tweak it a bit um, and kind of make a couple fairies to go with my little collection um, I just made this is very simple basic clay mold, mold, molding I guess you'd call it but I'm, I think I could do a bit better I like her hair See, I've always liked swirlies, and I just painted her face on. Um, so anyway, because like she she fits with the doors, like this door. This door would be perfect for her. Maybe not. All right, let me show you what I did. I reinforced the mini album, the mini um, notebook, like Lynn suggests, um, with just a piece of cardboard. I put some magic marker around the edges just to um, so anyway made a template made my clay and look what happened I burnt the crap out of it I'm really struggling with my oven um, Lynn actually made a comment to my com um, my last video because I had issues I'm having issues I'm burning quite a bit um, anyway this was a complete disaster so I know some people use these um, index cards for their clay too. They'll put their clay on that and use that as they're creating so they can move it around. Well, I left it on there when I put it in the oven. I thought, well, that won't burn. You know, it's fine. Well, it totally stuck to the back and it went like that. It, it baked like this. It baked like that. So, absolutely <laughs> don't do that. Um, I heated it up again and was able to bend it back a little bit, but it is destroyed. I had a little um, metal kind of charm in there for the window, popped out. Everything's just burnt. I mean, look, up here it's so burnt that it like bubbled the clay a little. Yeah, not good. And this was so cute. Oh my gosh, I loved it. But don't worry, I haven't given up. Um, I did, actually Lynn, I did what you said before you even said it. I just turned the heat down um, and I baked it for a little less. Of, of course, I told my husband about the issue and he right away went and cut me a couple of pieces of tiles that... Um, are able to hold a bigger piece. Now this one's even bigger. This is my little Zentangle notebook that I got. It's about one, two, three, six by four, five, six by five, four and a half. Um, he cut me a couple of piece, pieces of tiles. I'm gonna go up so that you're like right over it. Um, but this is my redo. And I kind of wanted to do it on here. I've been playing around with sugar skulls. I want to do, I'm going to do a sugar skull. And I've done a couple um, playing around. Like I have the stamp. So I did this 
tile but I didn't love it so I'm gonna still play around with it um, maybe this would be better with a sugar skull and maybe some inchies like I'll cut it out I don't know what I'll do um, and this is what I came up with for this little notebook and it has a much stiffer cover like these covers are double thick compared to the other ones it actually makes it quite heavy and I just went in a little I didn't totally cover the whole cover with the clay um, and I'm okay with that so we'll see I'm gonna keep playing with this but this one turned out it didn't I didn't burn anything and I mean I put some the one thing I regret and I should have done is before I baked it put mica powders in the nooks and crannies of the background because when you use the uh, creams it's really hard to get it in there and get it nice um, also I could have shaded my door a little bit with the mica powders before baking um, I only have four colors of the Inca Golds right now. I just ordered three or four more. A blue, a red, an orange. I think maybe just three more. But that'll give me a little more to work with. That's why I was thinking maybe I'll wait for that for the Sugar Skulls. But uh, anyway, pretty happy with this. This is a mold, a Martha Stewart mold. And I'm going to Google them and see if... Because I just looked at Michael's, couldn't find any. And Joanne's, my Joanne's is like a mostly uh, fabric they don't have very many other crafts in there um, but the butterflies were worked out really well and these leaves the other shaped leaves are from a Martha Stewart mold too so that was awesome to bring them into it these are just my cookie cutter shapes these big leaves um, and I just cut these with my exacto knife but I added everything to this so I have the wood around the door and then I did do the um, the bricks too or whatever you want to call them so I don't know I'm pretty happy with it I think it's I put believe up top and um, you know it's just disappointing oh my gosh when you put, put all that work into it and then bloop, it burns wow that is not fun um, but I am in really enjoying the clay today though however I'm going to be making some tassels and I'll be met back to show you what I've what I've done. Um, all right. So thanks for watching.